Jim here once again on Educator.com Lessons on HTML 5.0 and well, what are we doing here studying JavaScript? Well, one thing I'm learning as myself as I'm teaching you these lessons is that HTML 5.0 is actually a combination of three different languages and I want to explain before we talk about the lesson overview is that I'm finding that HTML 5.0 okay is equal to cascading style sheets plus JavaScript. Okay, so in order to really understand the full benefits of HTML 5.0, it's pretty important to understand the concept of cascading style sheets and JavaScripting. Uh, I'm not saying you have to be a guru with these two extra programming languages or do you have to take an extra course. I highly recommend it though in this website for educator.com because we really try to make sure that we give you the completed uh, lessons and information to make sure your career is at the best it can be so that you can service your own clients or, or, or your own purposes for your website. So um, we're going to touch a little bit about JavaScripting and the functionalities behind JavaScripting. Uh, I like to say that JavaScript uh, to HTML is sort of like, well, if HTML was a base model car. JavaScript will add the little nooks and crannies, the bells and whistles that we all love, for instance. So, I don't know. Um, instead of rolling up windows, we have the electric windows. I don't know if they make cars anymore with roll up windows, but, you know, we got the, the MP3 players, we got the double airbags, things like that. That's what JavaScript does. It adds a little more spice, a little more juice to it. It's not that difficult to understand or learn. Um, I'm going to discuss some concepts on how to take some shortcuts on implementing JavaScript. I'm a big fan of uh, looking up references for code. So we're going to go over all that uh, to, in this lesson. So we're going to talk about the uh, .js file. If you recall, the .js file belongs to a certain section of the website, the head section of the website. We're going to talk about that. We're going to analyze the JavaScript code, some of the functionalities. And then, of course, the most important part, we're going to talk about the examples and the references. So let's go ahead and dive right in into the JS file. All right, as you may have remembered in an earlier lesson, we talked about the JS file being located in the header section of the code. Okay, there's head and there's body. We want to make sure that the JS file is embedded into the, the uh, uh, I'm sorry, into the head section of the code. So here it is right here. So my question, you may ask right now, what is a JS file? Well, I can definitely show you. Uh, I'll just go ahead and open up this, my web editor here.